welcome back gang for the first time and hopefully many more to come don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here this little bell so you can get those emails every time we go live Peace. Everybody's beatable. Styles make fights. Everybody's there to be beaten. Everybody's there to win, but they're also capable of being beaten. The right plan, the right training, that can be beaten. Because it all comes down to his style, being able to beat that style. That's all yeah. it comes down to. When, when all things is even, and all things is equal in the ring, and all skills are the same, it's the one that wants it the most. It's the strongest guy that's gonna come out on top. And that's where we're gonna beat him. So next to uh, opponent is Salima Tango. You know, we'll be fighting him on October 21st for the WBA Oceana title. Uh, that title will get us a guaranteed uh, top 10 to 15 ranking for Ibi's next fight. It's, uh, it's a big step up for us and a step in the right direction and, and the step that we're, we're trying to achieve. So that hopefully, if, you know, from, from this fight till 12 months in that fight, we can be in the top five, six position where we can have a shot at uh, working towards a world title eliminator and be in a position to fight for a world title. You know, African fighters, you know, they come tough, they come prepared, you know, they come from, from you know, hardships, so he's going to come hungry, ready to fight. I mean, that's, that's all we need. We just want somebody that's willing to fight. It doesn't matter who they are or where they come from. Like at this stage, we're, we're ready to take the next step, so we, we just bring it on. You know, wherever they are, it doesn't matter. Obviously, it all comes down to the right opponents and taking the right step ups, you know, and fighting opponents that are going to help improve that ranking and keep defending the title and hopefully going for a couple other titles that are going to help boost that title. But most importantly, you know, the titles are good, they're nice, you know, they look nice. But our main goal is the people that they put in front of us because that's what we want to achieve. Our, our main goal is fighting good, solid opponents, not the hardware, it's yeah. the opponents and, and where we where we get from that, and hopefully the rankings that we get from that, because it's easy to have the total belts and fight a whole list of no names and you know keep defending, and it all looks nice, but it gets you nowhere. Our our goal is to get somewhere by yeah. fighting decent opponents. Better opponents every time. Our plan next year is to try and do a training camp leading up to every fight in the states, so we're sparring the right opponents, because you can't get seasoned in the ring. The season he comes in the gym, you've got to spar the type of opponents that you want to fight. It's pointless fight going over there, sparring great opponents and then coming back and fighting tomato cans. So what we want to do is go over there, have training camps, spar decent opponents and then come back and fight decent opponents. So we want to be sparring the type of opponents that we're going to be working our way up to. So that's our, that's our 12 month plan. Obviously in boxing there's a bit of luck, you know, and obviously a bit of support. Patience is a big Big role, big key. I think we worked to, uh, throughout the training camp on taking our time, picking our punches. And that's what we've been working on, just putting the rounds in the bank, putting the rounds in the bank, working on these boxing skills. Kids an elite amateur, he's been all over the world. That's, you know, you can't take that away from him. That's already ingrained in what he's done. I mean, you represented Australia in World Amateur Championships and Commonwealth Games and the Olympics. Like he's been everywhere, you know, he fought gold medalists, world champions, world amateur champions all over the world. So we've got to bring yeah. back, we've got to bring that back into the professionals as well. It's a different style, but we've got to bring back that mentality of being able to place his shots, pick his shots, be smart, you know, be a professional over 10 rounds. If it takes eight rounds to stop him, it takes eight rounds. If it takes 10 rounds, it takes 10 rounds. If it takes 12, it takes rounds. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. As long as we keep putting the rounds in the bank, that's what we've been working on. It's a hard pill to swallow, handling your first defeat in the professional ranks. I just think it made me more hungrier and really set myself what I really want to achieve. I was more focused after it, definitely put in 100% in all my training camps after it, so it's sort of a blessing in disguise, you know. It's the worst outcome with, with, with yeah. the best result. Yeah. yeah. Look, I, I think since then, he's been not just better in the gym, but he's been better as a person. You know, and that's more important than anything at the end of the day, because if you're good within yourself, you can be good within everything, yeah? He's comfortable within his own skin now. Like, he's comfortable with everything that's happening around him. He knows exactly where he's going and what he needs to do. 
He was back in the gym the Tuesday after that fight. You know, that's when you know somebody's hungry to come back. This whole zero record is very overinflated. You know, it's very overinflated. Many champions that have lost early in their career have come back to become multiple world champions. Nothing wrong with a loss. This whole zero record is a load of shit. Bernard Denier lost his second pro fight. Bernard Hopkins lost his first pro fight. Like this, the list is endless. You know, who cares? People forget about that era. Those guys were fighters. If you're fighting good fighters, you get caught, you make a mistake, you start again, you rebuild. That's how you develop fighters. We're more into developing a fighter and building a fighter rather than building a zero record. Because from there, we realize this is where we've got to work. If you want it, you've got to show me now you want it. And yeah. he showed me. I mean, you can see the result speaks for itself. Anyone that watches his last three fights can see the development, can see the mental maturity, can see the skill, the ability, the footwork, like the head movement, like the thinking game, you know, setting up the traps. All those things is there. And the patience, you know. One thing he hasn't had in five years that I've trained him since the last three patience. fights, you know. That patience is the biggest key, you know. And I'm happy. I thank God that we had that and it was written on the wall that it was supposed to happen and it did and this is where we are now. Like it's all part of the process. It's all about growing, yeah. fighting better fighters, you win, you lose, you know, at least you've, you've fought the best. Yeah, it's, it's, it's easy building a the record these days, you just keep turning them over, you just keep importing them here and importing them there, that, that's fine, you can, that's, that's easy to do but, you know, at some stage you've got to back yourself and if you don't come off, so what? You start again, it's not the end of the world, it's actually the start of something new and you rebuild, you won the right. Back to the drawing board, what did you do right, what did you do wrong, what was missing? We want to fight good fighters, we want to build ourselves up, that's where we want to go. And if along the way we get toppled down again, so fucking what, we start again, you know. It all comes down to determination, that's the end result, that's what speaks for itself and that's, that's when the end result is the key. How you get there is good. Up, down, up, down. It's fine. But get the end result. And when you get there, you've made it and you've earned it. You can grab hold of it and no one can take it away from you. There's a lot of things that people don't know about that loss. But that, that, there's a lot of things that went wrong. Everything that could have gone wrong in that training camp went wrong. You know? And because we got so much pride, we stuck to the, to the fight and we followed through with it. But anybody in their right mind probably would have pulled that, their fight out of the fight two weeks earlier. But Pride keeps you there, you know? And, <laughs> and we like to fight too. And we like to fight too. We learned our lesson, we'll never, we'll never make that same mistake again. Our time is coming, you know? And you'll see. And this kid's going to prove. He's going to match his amateur career credentials in the professional credentials. It's just a matter of time, and good timing, and good luck, and you're going to see him there. Keep punching. Tune in October 21st, Punches at the Park.